It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I think it's a steak and mushroom by the taste of it. After taking his shot and hitting the mark, Wayne Nils Anderson's 30-year quest for fame seemed to have been realised. Mr Wayne Anderson, South Auckland's finest singer. Manuel Ray was greatest singer was poised to become a legend after a successful engagement at New Zealand's premier venue. This is the best day of my life, mate. It's finally happened at Sky City Theatre. But with the world of pop at his feet, the tide of public apathy set in. Mate, they've cancelled. Man, that's rude. We haven't sold any tickets. None. Nah. And now the glory years are over. <coughs> All that is left are memories and the bitter refrain of what might have been as Wayne faces life back on the rest home circuit. At home, a frustrated Wayne Anderson grapples to put his finger on where it all went wrong. I'm rather disappointed with where I'm at at the moment because uh, last time I had all my hopes built up. I was on a high, Orlando was doing a good job, and uh, now, a year or so down the track, um, Orlando seems to have dropped the ball. We seem to be back to square one. Um, basically, uh, I was promised there was going to be a $100 a gig man, and now I'm back to $50 a gig man. It feels like I've had the rug pulled out from underneath my feet, which pisses me off, frankly. The drop in popularity has been hard on Wayne's manager, Orlando, who has been forced back into full-time employment at the Cape Road car park. Yeah, it's not the best place to be running a showbiz career from, I'm aware of that, but, um, you know, for a while it was great. You know, celebrity parties, non-stop gigging. There's Wayne's first girlfriend, she's gorgeous. Um, you know, Wayne was getting the big gigs. The money rolled in. You know, there, Wayne with Christine Fletcher, the former mayor, I think he was seeing her for a while, and that's just a photo of my cat. Show business is, uh, it's a lot harder than I thought. As an example, Orlando's cat died recently, and uh, he's actually cancelled a meeting. I'm not unsympathetic towards um, that sort of thing. I can understand his kids would be upset, and I love animals myself, but goodness me, uh, first and foremost, he's my manager, and to cancel a meeting on, on something as trivial as that is just not on. There he is with John Rolls. That was a highlight, a real highlight. But now we're kind of back down to $50 a week gigs, and, you know, I'm working here. So I guess the only way now is up. A true professional, Wayne doesn't let the hard times affect his act, preparing meticulously for every performance. Basically looking for a variety of rings and um, basically flashy ones because I am an entertainer and it's quite important to uh, keep up that image of a flashy entertainer. Being in show business and having to purchase these things, it's not cheap. In fact, it's rather costly. Okay. How much is that? Two dollars. Two dollars, oh, that's uh. a good price. So, having done some shopping, I'm now off home to prepare for this afternoon's show. Probably, probably some vocal exercises. La 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 la. So to prepare for my show, the most important thing I do beforehand is to vocalise. That's absolutely essential. Usually I do it for about a quarter of an hour to half an hour. Basically just to make the voice supple and free it up and make sure that uh, I can hit all the notes correctly. Basically just holding notes and me, 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 me. La, 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 la. Only you. And that uh, basically gives me confidence for uh, the more difficult songs that I put into the act. For his matinee performance at Acacia Cove, the most glamorous venue on the rest home circuit, Wayne's called on the services of an old acquaintance. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wayne Anderson. 
as some of you probably know. It's a pleasure to be here to sing for you. And unfortunately, my manager, Orlando, who's normally with me, his um, daughter's cat died. And um, he's probably got his priorities wrong because he's attending to his cat rather than his uh, protege. But never mind, that's okay. Instead, I've got uh, an old friend of mine from uh, many years ago from the music club, the Elvis Presley Music Club. And uh, she's uh, able to step into the breach. And uh, her name is uh, Faye Emery. And uh, without any further ado, um, I'll start with um, a song made famous by one of my favourite singers, and his name is Tom Jones. I saw the lights on the night and I passed I still love the rest home audience because they really know what good music's all about. In fact, a lot of people come up to me and say, how do you know the words to all these old songs? And I say, well, it make, I make it my business to know about all these, these songs. Thank you so much. And I've still got plenty of left. The voice is still there, you see. Coming up after the break, Wayne prepares for some on air promotion. Are you ready for this uh, radio show? Yes, I am. Hey, mate, I'm sorry to hear that your cat died a couple of days ago. And Faye and Wayne decide on a dual makeover. I'd, I'd like to have a matching a for matching. Wayne and I. In fact, I think for this particular one, you could probably have purple, silver or gold. No, I think so, eh? Old friend Faye has decided to take an active role in helping promote Wayne's career. And the first mission is an image makeover. That's a good outfit there. Sure is. Yeah. It's really manly, you see. That would be really neat to have something yeah, like that. Especially with the back or two, you know. Nothing effeminate, nothing vaguely bisexual. He's all man. True. That guy, you know, really looks fantastic there, doesn't he? Hello. Now, what can I do for you today? Well, I'm really just after purchasing an outfit, uh, very much like this one here that Tom Jones is wearing. This guy's got real balls, you know. Okay. Yeah, no, that's great. I'd, I'd like to have a matching a for matching? Wayne and I. In fact, I think for this particular one, you could probably have purple. Silver or gold? No, I think so, eh? All right, let's get your measure up. Measurements? Yes. Okay. Would you like to stay in here? More room out here. Yes, more room out here. Okay. <laughs> Small job. All right. Now let's get your waist measured. All right. Yeah, the waist is in pretty good shape, uh, particularly for my age. Oh, they because, are? Because um, being a singer, I sing not from the throat, but from the diaphragm. Oh, yes. So strong voice, strong stomach. Strong stomach? Yeah, in fact, I'll, I'll show you, like, uh, the stomach there. If you, you hit there, you see how hard it is? A hard punch? Yeah, hard punch. All right. <laughs> Whoa, That's they right. are. Yeah, yeah. You can go higher. Oh, it's yeah. like a rock. That's right. <laughs> a real she rock. frequently does that anyway. Oh, does she? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's right. And um, because uh, because it's a diaphragm, you can actually hold your notes. Yes. La With the matching stage outfits ordered, back in Manurewa, Wayne is making a cup of tea. Being the type of entertainer that I am, I like to make sure everything's done correctly, one hundred percent. And that even includes something simple like making a cup of tea. First of all, the water has to be piping hot. That's essential. Uh, put the tea bag in the cup. If you take milk and sugar, what I do is I put the milk in first. Just put an average amount of milk in there. Pour the water in there. This is where the integral, important part starts. Make sure you stir it well and long. That way, you don't find that you get undissolved sugar at the bottom of the cup. Sometimes I get people to make me cups of tea and I say, oh, one sugar, please. And I taste it and it tastes as if it hasn't been sugared. And then you get down to the bottom of the cup and you find all the sugars undissolved at the bottom of the cup, which really puts me off because presentation is very, very important. And I think that means the difference between enjoying it or not enjoying it. Ah, it's fantastic. 